Okay, TJ Dagger here. We're going to have a quick look at the uh, height tool. Um, again, as with most of the brush type tools, you can simply enlarge it or make it smaller with the plus and minus on the uh, on the keyboard uh, on the on the number keys, number pad. Um, basically, with the with the height tool, it's a simple case of uh, uh, left click raises up terrain as you can see there and a right click or holding down the right button lowers terrain now you can also use by just by holding down shift and it doesn't matter whether you use the left or the right button here but this will smooth it out so just holding shift and dragging over an area smooth that out. Now if we look at the polygons with uh, Alt W we'll make our brush size real small. You can see that just like with textures the actual height is only affected where the polygons meet at the little intersecting points. So when you're moving over it's only actually raising or lowering the polygon at those intersecting points. So that's one to remember. So basically it's left button to raise terrain, right button to lower it, hold down the shift button to smooth it out. Okay and we can go with, uh, we can make this, uh, we've got some sliders here so we can make it slow and fast so if it's slow it builds up slow. That's me moving around with the the button held. If we put it on fast, you can see it's much, much faster. We've also got our um, softness and sharpness, so let's have a look there with, what's that on? That's on sharp. So you can see it's quite steep at the sides, and if we put that on soft, you can see it's a much more smoother there and of course if we uh, do a bigger circle that's even going to be expressed more. There we go. And with the sharpness. Okay now with the height tool we got a couple options here. Uh, we've got the uh, the fixed height here. If we tick that and we can set that to what's set at 100 at the moment. So if I hold down and drag across it sets the height to 100 and of course you can go negative with that negative 100 and holding shift you can blend areas together quite quickly quite easily now we've also got here we've got another one here which is fixed relative now what that basically means, so let's let's set this to uh, just a 50 and I'm going to tick fix relative. Now what it's going to do is it's going to raise the height 50, uh, 50 more than what it is wherever I drag it. So we'll just watch that happen. So you can see there, we might make that a bit more dramatic. Let's make it 200 so we can see, so make that a bit smaller. So wherever I go over with it, you can see that it's raised it by 200 in relation to what it was previously. And that's pretty handy for doing things like, um, you know, if you've got a road and you want to make it a bit more, a bit sunken or a bit raised, you can set, set the f uh, fixed relative and run along it. So yeah. And that's the basic functions of the... Uh, of the height tool. There's the uh, import height map here and um, as far as I understand that that function basically causes a bug and crashes the editor on you if you try and use it. Um, if you happen to want to look more into the height map and you happen to have um, Assault Squad 1 or one of the other previous titles in the 
in the Metal War series, you can you can use one of those previous gem editor versions. And uh, as far as I understand, all the hype hype map import works fine on those, and you can use that and then uh, use it in a previous editor and import it into this one. But uh, I'm not going to touch on that at the moment. Okay, so that's that's the basics of the height tool. Um, cheers.